Yes, dude. I love that they're using it. Momo. What is up, Baby Metal fans? Welcome back to another Baby Metal reaction video. Today, we are doing some more Momo. Bro, Momo has been killing it lately. I, f I feel like every time Baby Metal releases something or every time I react to something, it's just Momo, Momo, Momo. Like, we had Momo Banger where we heard Momo scream for the first time, or at least I did. I know there was like a, I saw a clip of her also screaming previously in Metali, but Momo Banger what like sealed the deal on the screaming shit, which is awesome. I just reacted to the Ratatata live version where, again, Momo providing some screaming, which dude, Momo is killing it. Like she's really starting to make a case for herself. Like for all the haters who are like, we, we don't want a new member, we want Yui, blah, blah, blah. Momo is like, I got you. I'm good, just trust me. And she is, and I'm glad they're putting her screaming to use. It's not just like a one-time thing that happened when she did Momo Banger. They're actually using it, which is awesome because it gives her something different. It gives her something to stand out a bit more from Moa and Sue. So, you know, it's, it's nice that they have their own little things, each of them. But today we are reacting to Legend MM. I'm assuming that stands for Momo. 21 Meta Taro Momo Taro. Okay, so Momo Taro, it's the Momo version of Meta Taro. Yeah, okay, so I haven't heard the song. This is not only going to be the first time I'm hearing Momo's version, this is going to be the first time me hearing the song in general. So yeah, I'm excited to hear some more Momo. Let's see if she actually does the whole song this time. That would be cool. Oh, this reminds me of Momo Banger where we got like a whole intro thing. Girls Festival. There was a huge peach that stood out among the cute Hina peach decorations. He's that little Momo being born. <laughs> to lift a huge peach, a big metal baby. Oh yeah. <laughs> so Momo was born from a peach. Interesting. It's funny, like, they give Momo, they gave her the whole, like, intro thing for... Wait, unless that was Sue. Was that supposed to be Sue? Oh, maybe that was Sue. That looked like it was supposed to be Sue. Okay, that makes more sense, because Momo did get her, like, little intro in Headbanger 2, so it would be weird if it was two intros for her. Maybe this is like the start of the concert or something. Cool, so Baby Metal was formed because Sue was born through a peach. <laughs> Dude, who does concerts like Baby Metal? They have a freaking stage floating in the sky, dropping down. Like, come on, dude. Look at the crowd, bro, with their little pink bracelets. Is that Momo in that thing? Yeah, it's gotta be. Damn. I think you guys said this was her 20th birthday. The 20th birthday in Japan is like our 21st birthday. They're really going all out for her. Wow, dude. Cannot wait to be there one day. Jeez. Man, no one does live performances like Baby Metal. It's so well produced. Got like a... <laughs> like a... Patriotic March. It's like a war song. What does Meta Taro mean? There's no subtitle, so I don't know. Uh, 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 whoa, whoa, hold up, Momo. Hold up, Momo, Momo. Okay, let me just... I don't want to ruin Momo's thing. What does Meta Taro mean? There are no subtitles, so yeah, I don't know. I'll probably read the lyrics after this. Momo! The way she sings is so different from Moa and Sue. she got like a little cute kawaii voice. I love it, dude. And then she has the screaming as well, so it like contrasts. I I'm wondering now, I, I haven't heard the song, so I don't know how the song sounds, but I'm wondering if we're going to get her, her growl or her scream in the song. I hope so. That's going to be cool. I'm just gonna go back to where she starts because I love hearing her voice. 
This is like a, a national anthem. <laughs> The Baby Metal Nation's National Anthem. I wonder if she's actually going to do the whole song herself. Oh. Here we go. Oh. I'm pretty sure that's her. I don't think that's the backing vocals. Yeah. Uh, maybe it is. No, okay. So that does sound like Momo's growl, so I'm pretty sure it's her, but they obviously just used the backing vocal so that she can sing over it as well. There we go. Let's see if we get some more Momo growling. Sue <laughs> so, so was like, oh, okay, hold on, Momo. <laughs> you know I'm the main singer. Uh, you, you you had your shine. I, I, I'm going to have to take over from you. <laughs> nah, of course, man. I, I didn't expect Momo to do the whole song. But th that was cool what we got. I liked it. I liked it. We got everything we wanted from Momo. The singing, a little bit of growling too. And then you got Queen Sue coming through. So you can never complain, really. Still got Momo's growl in the background. Dude, I love that they're using it. Got some egg pipes. This is literally a national anthem. This is so good. <laughs> I love it. I love that they're using it like incorporating Momo's growls into the song instead of just letting it be the thing she does once in a while, you know. They're actually, hopefully going forward, gonna use it in more of their songs because that, that just has so much potential. The Kami band there, I don't see them. Crowd participation time. Yep. <sighs> Look at that sea of people, bro. Insane. <laughs> What's wrong, Moa? You look sad. Switching it up a bit. As much as I like hearing Momo sing, Sue is just... Oh, so good. What's interesting though is, even when they all sing together, Momo has such a distinct singing voice, it kind of cuts through and you can hear it. Like, you can differentiate their voices because of that. Like, you can literally hear Momo. Man. 
Tataro. What a fun song. Great. Well, guys, that was Momo Taro. Once again, getting Momo, getting a little bit of a growl. Didn't really get much of a scream, but at least we got something, you know. I'm so glad they're giving Momo the chance to show what she can do with her voice. Just because it adds a new element to Baby Metal. It really does. I don't know from... Obviously, I haven't kept up with Baby Metal. Like, I haven't heard most of their songs. I think this is like the sixth song max that I've listened to. But I'm pretty sure none of the girls have ever growled or scrimped or anything like that other than Momo. I'm not sure what Yui used to do. I don't think she used to do that either. So I love it, man. It definitely adds a new element. And I really just hope they keep doing this going forward. Because we know they added her, her scream in Ratatata as well. Kind of more of a background thing. You couldn't really notice it that well. But at least they're using it. At least they're aware of it. And hopefully they know that people want to see it some more. So yeah, I'm loving it, man. Baby Metal's just getting better and better with age, man. And yeah, once again, like another great song. Baby Metal has not let me down yet. So, you know, keep bringing the suggestions, guys. Keep leaving it in the comments. Keep letting me know what I need to react to. And if there's a song that I haven't heard yet that you know I absolutely need to fucking react to. Let me know. Leave it down in the comments. I'll get to them all eventually. It's a huge catalog. I'm just getting to them one by one. So don't worry. I will get to your song eventually. But it's a lot. But yeah, while you're down there, leave a like. Leave a subscribe. What did you guys think of Momo Taro? Do you like this version better? Do you like the original better? Which I haven't heard. I'm pretty sure it sounds the same. Just with Sue singing everything. I am interested to know the when she spells out meta in the original version. Is there a growl or scream? Or was that literally something that Momo now added and it wasn't like that before? I actually might need to go back and listen to the original just to see the difference. Also, before I leave, some of you guys have suggested I look up the lyrics of the songs because I obviously didn't have subtitles. So let me just go through this quickly. I went to a meta a long time ago. Uh -huh, we keep losing. Okay, it literally seems like a war cry, like a war type song. Like, <laughs> like we're about to go to war. Call your heart's hero if metal sounds were friends together, boys and girls. Like, yeah, well, I guess I was right in my interpretation. The voice of my heart. Okay, interesting. From the album Metal Resistance. Makes sense. Okay. Well, guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next Baby Metal Reaction video. Peace.